Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful, the most beneficent and he subhanahu wa ta'ala out of his infinite wisdom and hikmah has tested us in this life we're, we're all have different tests with, in accordance with our ability and our ability to be able to withstand those tests Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not uh, unaware of our tests and our struggles and he is not uh, oppressive as we see that his creation that many of his creatures from different individuals in this life they oppress others and they cause harm to others but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just and it's imperative as Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned that the believer believes that we will only enter paradise by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should strive to do righteous deeds to have good conduct to be kind and gentle with the affairs of others and respect one another and uphold one another's rights and fulfill our responsibilities and obligations at the same time we have to realize that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy which will be the ultimate uh, way and means for us to enter paradise it is only through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy but that doesn't mean we should refrain from being righteous and doing uh, good deeds and having good conduct and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that in the statement of Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala قال وَاعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا يُدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ أَحَدٌ إِلَّا بِرَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ وَلَا يُعَذِّبُ اللَّهِ أَحَدٌ إِلَّا بِذُنُوبِهِ بِقَدْرِ ذُنُوبِهِ وَلَوْ عَذَّبَ اللَّهُ أَهْلَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَأَهْلَ الْأَرْضِينِ بِرَّهِمْ وَفَاجِرَهُمْ عَذَّبُهُمْ غَيْرَ ظَالِمٍ لَهُمْ In this statement, Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala who was one of our pious predecessors and he he mentioned in his famous book which is entitled Shara Sunnah which is the creed or the explanation of the creed he said and know that a, no one will enter paradise except by the mercy of Allah and no one will be punished or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish anyone except for his or her sins and in accordance with the level of their sins and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes the, uh, the the people of the heavens and earth the righteous amongst them and the wicked amongst them he does so, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses to do so, he does so without oppression. That this there is no oppression in this. So this shows us the the hikmah and the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is al adl that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just. And we cannot compare the justice that we find in this life compared to the just of the creator of the heavens and earth compared to his justice subhanahu wa ta'ala and so that we have to know that in accordance with our sins and the ways in which we have treated others is how we'll be dealt with in the day of judgment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is full of, fully aware of all that we do and none of our sins will escape from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of everything we do and none of our good deeds will go unrewarded by the Lord of the heavens and earth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our good and forgive our evil.